So a whole bucket of rumors surrounding AMD's big Navi GPU, which will power its next generation Radeon RX Enthusiast graphics card, has been posted by chip hell leaker WJM47196. Now the leaker has a history of leaks which have turned out to be legitimate. He has talked about how the development of the flagship RDNA 2 graphics card is shaping up and what we can expect in terms of specifications and overall performance. Now before we talk about the rumor details, we just want to point out things like the leaker has gotten correct in the past. So WJM47196 was first to point out that the Navi 10 GPU won't feature ray tracing capabilities and will target RTX 2080 performance, which turned out to be true because it was ahead of the RTX 2070. He also pointed out that AMD would unveil more information about its RDNA 2 and its GPU roadmap at CES 2020, when also revealed that Polaris 30, which turned out to be the RX 590, would be launching in Q4 of 2018. Radeon 7 and Q1 of 2019, and 7 nanometer Navi mainstream cards arriving before the high-end enthusiast grade variants in 2019. So you can see that WJM47196 does have a history of solid rumors which turned out to be true, and that's the sole reason that we're even covering this today. WJM47196 not only highlights a few specifications of the flagship Radeon RX Big Navi graphics card, but also talks about the production and development progress of the card so far, which is quite integral in what to expect. The first bit covers the specifications, and in that regard, the Big Navi graphics card is stated to get 16 gigabytes of VRAM capacity. Now that's double the VRAM buffer of the existing RX 5700 XT graphics card, which is based on the Navi 10 GPU. It is not mentioned what type of memory architecture will be utilized, but the leaker does mention a 384-bit bus interface, which would point out GDDR6 rather than HBM2 or HBM2E. Now, rumors running parallel for the NVIDIA Ampere lineup have stated a faster GDDR6 die solution for the gaming card, so AMD could utilize the faster GDDR6 chips for memory makers to power its enthusiast-grade graphics solution. However, GDDR6X isn't under production or listed by any of the major DRAM manufacturers, which could be due to an NDA with the GPU company, so we'd have to take that information with a grain of salt at this point. Now regardless, speeds of up to 18 gigabits per second are definitely achievable with existing GDDR6 solutions, which would make a good improvement in bandwidth over the 14 gigabits per second die featured on first gen Navi cards. Even at 16 gigabits per second, a 384 bit interface would deliver 768 gigabytes of second worth of bandwidth, while 18 gigabits per second would deliver 864 gigabytes per second of total bandwidth to the GPU. And when it comes to the development progress of Big Navi, well, the first validation sample was sent recently to Shanghai for driver development. While this happens, AMD engineers situated in the United States have yet to visit the manufacturing and test labs based in China to evaluate the final performance of its Big Navi GPU. This means that all previous rumors of performance of the Big Navi graphics card really simply hold no truth at all and were nothing more than simple speculation. As for the manufacturing and design process, AMD has stated to not have finalized its Big Navi PCB just yet. The toolkits for manufacturing are also allegedly not ready yet, which once again points out to inaccurate performance numbers in the past. Now, AMD is expected to send out its first design resources for the Big Navi graphics card PCB in the next two weeks to the major AIB partners. Based on this information, it would seem that AIBs would miss out on the launch window offering their custom designs for Big Navi. Well, meanwhile, NVIDIA custom designs for its next generation Ampere GPU lineup have already leaked out. The launch is suggested to take place in Q4 of 2020, with previous info pointing out a late October, early November launch timeframe. And lastly, WJM47196 mentions that NVIDIA will be coming to the consumer space first, with launch reportedly being held in September. This means that at the very least, Big Navi would be a one month late for the flagship Ampere gaming graphics card. And of course, nothing is set in stone yet, but based on this information, we do get some insightful knowledge of AMD's Big Navi Radeon RX graphics card, which many enthusiasts are waiting for. For more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.